There are three alleged cases of coronavirus in New York City. They admit they don't have accurate testing for the disease, but these people apparently travel to China and are showing fluish symptoms. But these medical professionals can't even tell if they have coronavirus. How helpful is that? One patient is at Bellevue Hospital, one at New York Presbyterian Queens, and another at Flushing Hospital Medical Center. Who knows how much they infected along the way, taking the subway, taking cars, you know, they were in New York City walking around for days, if not weeks. How, how, like these people just what, they wanna get back to their normal life? They don't care about starting a viral epidemic? If you haven't been reading about the coronavirus, it is incredibly contagious, far more than the normal flu. If you're like five or six feet away from someone and they breathe in that air, you can get the coronavirus just going into your eyes. And the complication rate of the coronavirus is also high, requiring medical treatment, aka hospitalization, mainly for older people. Let's see what our beloved New York mayor has to say. This individual, this patient, who is being evaluated right now, did exactly as they should have followed the guidelines that the city of New York put out. And they met these specific criteria. They had traveled to China. They did have the specific symptoms associated with coronavirus. And they did come to get medical care here at the hospital. Exactly what we want anyone in a similar situation to do. Uh, we will, in the next uh, 48 hours, hopefully sooner, get results back from the testing of this individual. Uh, if this is a positive case, we'll confirm that publicly right away. And the individual, of course, will be treated until they are at a point where they are no longer uh, symptomatic and contagious. Uh, also, if it turns out to be a positive case, the Department of Health will do the work that it is well known for in tracing back all substantial contacts the individuals had to ensure that anyone else who may have been affected gets the potential medical treatment they need. Uh, that work would start immediately in the instance of a positive measure. I don't understand why these arrogant government officials think they can trace this when they couldn't even prevent people flying into New York City from China in the first place. Why in God's name did they let people fly in from Wuhan? It's like these people had a bomb strapped to them and they let them on the plane. They dropped the ball on the only thing they could have done, prevent those initial flights out of Wuhan. And is this to blame on the Chinese government? Most likely. Uh, what I would say as a non-doctor, and then you'll hear from our Commissioner of Health, is there is still a lot we do not know about the coronavirus, a lot the global medical community does not know. What we do know causes us a tremendous amount of concern and causes the city of New York to be in a high state of readiness. If you are positive with coronavirus, the new quarantine rule from the CDC can be used to detain people without due process and examine them without informed consent. How's that for uh, breaching your constitutional rights? This is a disease now with over 12,000 cases worldwide, eight of them here in the United States and 259 individuals have died so far globally. That is only the reported amount. China is censoring the real numbers. There have been several whistleblowers and leaks saying that over 100,000 are likely infected at this point. Who knows how many people China have thrown in jail for trying to get the true information out there. We take it very, very seriously. And we will use all measures at our disposal to protect New Yorkers. What does he mean protect New Yorkers? Lock down the city? These people are so incompetent, they couldn't prevent a forest fire in a concrete plaza. And obviously we are working now with the guidance provided by the federal government. We're gonna work immediately uh, to implement that guidance. Uh, there's a lot we still need to get clarity on regarding it, the orders that were issued. There's a lot we have to work through with the Centers for Disease Control. There are many outstanding issues, but what's clear is we're going to work immediately to keep all New Yorkers safe. My message to New Yorkers, first of all, 
For the vast majority of New Yorkers, the most important thing to recognize is this issue is being addressed. It's being addressed by the federal government. It's being addressed by the city government, which has the strongest public health apparatus in the nation. People should be very clear about what this disease is and what it isn't. And New Yorkers, I always say, are not intimidated easily. New Yorkers should go about our lives, continue doing what we do normally. You can rest assured there will be constant updates on the situation. We understand some things about this disease. As I said, others are still unclear, but what is clear is the only way you get it is with substantial contact with someone who already has it. You don't get it from a surface. You don't get it from glancing or very temporary contact based on what we know now. So the bottom line traditional rules of public health apply here. Just be smart. If you're in the presence of someone with symptoms, uh, make sure that if that person needs medical care, they're getting it. Do the basics like wash your hands and all the things you would normally do during flu season. That is absolutely wrong. We know coronavirus can be spread from just air contact, as I said, through your eyes, nose, and mouth. The only way to prevent contamination would be to live in a plastic bubble if you were in New York City, how many people are touching each other every day. I don't know if you guys have ever taken a subway from the Bronx at 7 or 8 a.m., but it is a great way to feel like you need to take a shower afterwards. And if you know someone, this is the crucial point, if you yourself or anyone you know matches the criteria here. They have the symptoms and they have a connection to travel to the affected areas of China. See a medical professional immediately. That is the most important thing. For the vast majority of New Yorkers, they will never have a reason to have to follow that guidance. But for anyone who has been to the affected areas of China or been closely connected to a family member or others who have, who have the symptoms, and then if they have those symptoms themselves, that's the kind of person who needs to get to a doctor immediately. And I have to emphasize immediately. That's how we ensure that each individual gets the help they need and that this problem does not spread. Coronavirus is spreading and they aren't going to prevent it at this point. The Chinese government lied and didn't take precautions. Other global governments didn't take enough precautions either. We are going to be working together again, federal government, state government, city government, all together. And I ask every New Yorker uh, to help spread this information. And if you yourself need care or you know anyone who does, do not hesitate. Get that care right away. With that, I'll turn to our health commissioner, Dr. Oxiris Barbo. We are confirming our first individual who has been designated as a patient under investigation. This individual um, did what we have been asking New Yorkers to do, which is if you have traveled to affected areas in China within the last 14 days and you have symptoms, fever, cough, shortness of breath, or you're feeling unwell, to contact your doctor or to seek care in an emergency department. Additionally, this particular situation really highlights the fact that all of the measures that we have put in place with our partners are working the way that they should be working. So that when the patient presented here to Bellevue, they were appropriately evaluated, the appropriate, appropriate first line tests were done to rule out a potentially common virus that could have been accounting for those symptoms. And they immediately called us when they had the information that indeed there was positive travel and a negative biofire. Um, because of patient confidentiality, we're not gonna share any uh, detailed information. And the only thing I will say is that the patient is stable and doing well. It's a reminder, however, that there are many New Yorkers across the city that are understandably anxious about what they may be seeing in the news, um, and that sometimes there are folks who prematurely think that they have a person who has coronavirus, but I wanna assure you that we have strong sy systems in place to ensure that as soon as someone presents at one of our emergency departments, 
or sees one of our physicians in the city that we've got measures in place and we will promptly bring that attention to New Yorkers. Anxious about what you're saying in the news? You've been fear-mongering people on a daily basis with negative press stories. Everyone is a brainwashed monkey. Why is this any different? It's also an opportunity for me to remind New Yorkers that the symptoms that can be consistent with the coronavirus are also the ones that are consistent with influenza. And so this flu season is a very strong and heavy flu season and it's not too late to get your flu shot because it's very easy to confuse the two. Hold on, get vaccinated, get your heavy metals, make sure to listen to the government. The last thing I will say is that this is a time for New Yorkers to continue their vigilance and to continue the uh, advice the mayor gave, which is if you've traveled to the affected area in the last 14 days or have come in contact with someone who has traveled and are feeling unwell, call your doctor or come into one of our emergency departments and we will take care of you. Yeah, come into our hospital so we can lock you in a box and blast you with EMF electromagnetic fields. Sounds like a plan. This is not a time to fall prey to false information that you may be seeing on the internet, to fall prey to the stigma that is trying to be propagated. This is a time for New Yorkers to know the facts, to help spread the facts, and to seek care early. Thank you. These pricks are not being transparent to the public about how quickly this virus can spread. I find it very difficult to believe that this isn't going to be a catastrophe with how contagious this disease is. And a lot of this information and what I've been reading the past few days has been from a very intelligent man, Dr. Paul Cottrell, who actually lives in New York City. Uh, I'll link his channel down below and I might reach out to him uh, to see if he wants to collaborate. Uh, so let me know if you guys have heard anything about the coronavirus. There's been a lot of stuff out there, you know, is it a bioweapon? Is it part of some type of agenda? Who knows? But thank you guys for joining me. Hopefully this helps some of you guys out. If you can please like the video, subscribe, hit that bell icon. Above all guys, please share the video. You know, the video I made yesterday was uh, unfortunately, you know, taken down. If you guys want to support me further, definitely check out my book, The Ancestral Indigenous Diet, down in the description below. Frankie's Free Range Meat, Frankie's Naturals, as well as frank-defano.com for one-on-one -on -one health consultations. Thanks again, guys. Have a good night.